FTP WP engine, how does it all work? Well, stick around, I'd love to show you. Okay, so how do we use FTP to connect up to our WP Engine hosted website? Well, first of all, what the heck is FTP? Well, FTP stands for File Transfer Protocol. Don't get hung up on the jargon. It isn't related to rockets or satellites or deep space missions or anything like that. It's just a method. It's just a, a protocol for connecting up to a live web server. That's all there is to it, really. And specifically, as it stands with WP Engine, we're going to be using a more secure version of FTP called SFTP. And I'll give you three guesses as to what the S stands for. It's not sausage or salami. It's secure. So that's it. It's just a secure version, if you will, of FTP. So it's all about SFTP here with WP Engine. Now, why would you want to connect up to your live site via SFTP. Well, I can think of a number of reasons. SFTP or even FTP is a very common way to connect directly between your computer and your live server. Think of it as opening up a two-way street between your computer and your live web server so you can either upload content or download content. Pretty cool stuff. Now, again, though, why? Well, maybe you want to run some admin stuff, or maybe you've got some maintenance type stuff you want to you want to tackle. Well, SFTP or FTP is a great method, a very common method for handling that kind of stuff. Maybe there's some updates that you want to handle. Maybe you want to download some content from your live site to your local computer, make some changes, and then republish those changes to the live site. That is certainly possible. And again, as I say here, very common. So I hope that makes sense. I hope the the idea anyway of FTP makes sense. Now, in order to actually pull this off with our WP Engine hosted website, what we'll have to do first is log into our WP Engine account and create what's called an SFTP user account. Sounds kind of wacky, but it's pretty straightforward. I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. There's also some other info that we need, and I'll show you exactly where to go to find that as well. Now, the other issue that we have is we're going to need some kind of an application to connect up to our live site via SFTP. This is typically called an FTP application. There's tons of them out there. Some of them are free, some of them are paid, some of them are Windows only, some of them are Mac only. So to demonstrate all of this for you, I'm going to be using an FTP application called CyberDuck. And the reason why I'm using CyberDuck is because it's free for you and I. So you can follow me along here if you want. And it's also cross-platform. So whether you're on a Mac like I am or you're on a Windows machine, you'll be able to use it and you'll be able to follow me along here. So you may want to pause things up here and go and grab CyberDuck for yourself. The actual download and installation process of CyberDuck is dead easy. I'm sure you can handle it. It's really nothing too crazy. Once you get that going, then you can join me back here. Or maybe you already have an FTP application that you want to use. Who knows? Now, if you're sitting there going, what is he talking about? I don't know which FTP application to use. I don't know how any of this works. What I'll do is I will, as always, leave some handy links for you in the show notes down below. You can go and check that stuff out. I show you some of the great FTP applications that you can use, whether you're on the Mac or Windows side, free or paid, all that good stuff. So I hope all that stuff sounds good. I am ready to show you how all of this works. I hope you're ready. So let's hop over to the computer and check it out. Okay, if you're ready to get down to it, then let's get down to it. Go ahead and fire open a new browser window, a new browser tab. And we are headed first to wpengine.com. So go ahead and navigate there. And of course, as is usually the case when we're on this site, go ahead and click on the sign in link in the top right corner and go ahead and sign in to your WP Engine account. All right, now, as I mentioned just a moment ago, the first order of business is to go and create a new SFTP user. And we can do that underneath installs up at the top. Go ahead and click on installs. And then running down the left-hand side here, go ahead and click on SFTP users right there. And as it stands right now, at least for myself, I don't have any 
SFTP users for this particular installation. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on this add SFTP user way over in the sort of the top right area there. And we get this sort of this pop-up window coming up here. It's asking for a username and a password right off the bat. So go ahead and fill out these fields if you would. Now, down towards the bottom, you can specify an environment. Let me drop this down for you. We can choose either to create a new SFTP user for our live site here on WP Engine or for our staging site here on WP Engine. I don't know if you're aware of this or not, but every WP Engine site comes with a staging area. And I have a separate tutorial that you can check out that shows you exactly how that works, how to set it up, how to use it. Essentially think of it as a testing area where you can go to try out some changes, maybe install new plugins, things like this, and then try them out, make sure they work before you publish the changes to your live site. Super handy. But at this stage for this demonstration, I'm just gonna go with a regular old SFTP user for the live installation of my site. So that's the environment I want. And I'm gonna click on add SFTP user. And that's really all there is to it. However, notice that the username that you inserted there gets appended with your site name. So mine happens to be 10 ton testing hyphen test FTP. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this guy here and I'm gonna copy him. And the next thing that we'll need to do is we'll need to fire up our FTP application. Now, as I mentioned, I'm using CyberDuck for this. I have no idea what you're using on your side, but whatever FTP application you're using, you should have some kind of a command called open connection or connect to server or you know something like that. Okay, so go ahead and click on that guy or go ahead and open up that dialog box. However, it takes shape for you on your side. Here inside CyberDuck, this is what it looks like. Now, at the very top here, at least, I can choose the connection type. This is critical. We do not want an FTP connection. We want an SFTP connection here with WP Engine. So make sure you select that guy. And let's see, I've already copied my username, so I'm gonna pop that in there. And I happen to remember my password as well, so I better put that in. There we go. Now, if I look back down inside my browser window, they're giving us the SFTP address and also the port number. We're gonna need these guys too. So I'm gonna grab this guy here, the SFTP address, copy that back over to my FTP application. That's gonna be the server, okay? Or sometimes it's called server address or you know host address, something like that, okay? And then finally the port, of course, as we know, 22, 22, just like that. And then go ahead and try connecting to your site via your FTP application. All right, looks like everything connected up here for me just fine. I'm gonna hide everything except my FTP application so we can zero in on them here. Now, what we're looking at here is the, the main WordPress directory or the root level directory, if you wanna call it that, for our WordPress installation on our WP Engine site. That's all there is to it. That's all there is to connecting up to WP Engine. So again, you've gotta go and create that new SFTP user and then plug all that information into your FTP application. And then from here, we can start working on our site. We now have a direct connection between our computer and our live website. Well, my friends, there you go. There's how you can use SFTP to connect up to your WP Engine hosted website. Now, you saw where to go to create or to set up that SFTP user account. Don't forget, you can set up an FTP user account for your live site or for your staging site. And if you don't know about staging sites with WP Engine, super cool. Check those show notes. I show you exactly how to set up a staging server using or a staging site using WP Engine, super awesome stuff. You saw how to plug all that info into CyberDuck or into whatever FTP application you're gonna be using. And you saw how to connect up to the live site, which is great. So again, now you have this two-way connection, this two-way street between your computer and your live website. And you can obviously interact with it, move files up and down, all that good stuff. So I hope you were able to get everything set up and connected on your side. Now, before we take off, before we take off, eh? Before we head our separate ways, be sure to grab my free course over at 10tononline.com forward slash free. 
It's perfect for folks like you and I who love launching and building and working on online businesses, self-marketer types, creative types, perfect for those folks as well. So I hope you had some fun here with me. I hope everything worked for you and I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you.